Hello and welcome to Indian News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Former President Pranab Mukherjee has been tested positive for COVID-19 today. He was on a visit to the hospital for a procedure where he was tested positive for COVID-19. He requested all the people to self-isolate themselves who came in contact with him and get tested as well. Pranab posted a tweet with Citizen Mukherjee where he requested all. The Nagpur Municipal Commissioner Tukaram Munde directly monitored the situation and reached the emergency operations center on Sunday afternoon. Commissioner proactively called the station in charge in various areas where he could sense possible issues and resolve the issues. Even before getting calls from citizens, the city witnessed a heavy downpour on Sunday morning and the civic administration of the city acted in a responsible manner to monitor the situation. Under the Smart City project, Atal Bihari Vajpayee City Operations Center is operational at Nagpur Municipal Commission Headquarters. Around 3,600 video cameras monitor the security situation in the city and are also prepared to take any eventuality. Monday directed the officers on duty to be on high alert. He also discussed the possible solutions of the issues with the officers in charge and also formed team on zonal level to take any upward conditions. The Supreme Court has postponed the hearing of the UGC case challenging the guidelines mandating to conduct the final year examination till August 14. The Supreme Court was hearing the challenge to the University Grant Commission's July 6 guidelines mandating the conduct of final year terminal semester university exams amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The decision was expected to be out today, but the Apex Court has now sought clarification if the Disaster Management Act can override the UGC's notification. On July 31st, Supreme Court had adjourned the matter pertaining to the plea against the University Grant Commission decision on mandatory conducting final year examination till August 10. The central government has introduced the concept of online education in the country due to COVID epidemic. But with this concept, the students' parents are disturbed by the arbitrary attitude of the private schools. One such case came up in the St. Xavier School on Monday. Corona has shaken the entire country due to Corona not increasing the infection. Some decisions have been taken by the central government. One of them is online education for which children are taking education from home. But now these students' families are becoming a noose. The private school of the city is forcibly recovering fees and St. Xavier School is one of them. The same was done on the part of the administration and students were denied online study. Due to this step of the administration, all the family members of the students started asking for answers at the school on Monday. There was no administrative officer in the school to reply, but the police were called towards the administration. In front of Foster Minister Nitin Rao's office at Bezanbagh, Aam Admi Party worker protested for the demand of 200 units electricity bill, excluding taxes and rising electricity tariff rates implemented since April on Sunday. The public appealed to Nitin Rao that the payment of increased electricity bill rates should not be taken. During this epidemic, 200 units of electricity bills should be waived. With this hope, the protesters were protesting with a board, forgive the electricity bill, otherwise, vacate the designation. The high electricity rates will have to be withdrawn. The power companies have to raise the tariff. Damage to the state government for financially troubling the citizens. Protesters made such slogans. The Minister of Power did not accept the request and all the protesters were arrested. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, please stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please do take good care of yourself.